Python is the most popular programming language in the world because of its simple and beginner-friendly syntax. And that's the number one reason it's hated by C++ programmers. It's the language of choice for artificial intelligence and machine learning, but also heavily used in scripting, automation, and backend development. It has a huge ecosystem of third-party libraries, such as NumPy for numerical computing, Pandas for data analysis, Scikit-learn for machine learning, TensorFlow for deep learning, Django for building web applications, and Kiwi for cross-platform, desktop, and mobile apps. In case you care, Python is 33 years old. It was created by a Dutch programmer in 1991 and named after the British comedy Monty Python. Python is an interpreted language, meaning you can run your code without a compilation step. But you need an interpreter that's written in C for performance. Unlike other languages, Python has hidden gems. We can import this for the Zen of Python or anti-gravity for a fun surprise. We can declare a variable with a name and a value that can be a string, a boolean, or a number. Python is a dynamically typed language, meaning the type of variables is determined at runtime. Unlike other languages, in Python, we can add or even multiply strings and numbers. Python has four types of collections, lists, tuples, sets, and dictionaries. Now, unlike many languages, we can use a negative index to count backwards. To define a function, we use the def keyword and indentation to declare a block of code. So no curly braces. And that's another reason Python is hated by C++ programmers. Python also supports object-oriented programming. We can define classes using the class keyword and have them inherit from each other. Python comes with batteries included, a huge library of built-in modules for tasks like working with CSV, JSON, emails, web scraping, and so on. And that was Python in two minutes. Want to learn Python? Check out my tutorials.